that that's 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 not good. I should have been fired if that was my shot for sure. No way. She's not a tattoo artist. We're gonna take a look at Black Ink Crew, New York. I don't know who Donna is. Donna. I'm not too familiar with Donna. I think she's the one with that had purple hair at one point. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the placement at all. The lines look pretty clean, but I, I'm not a fan of words right next to words. Donna seems like she cool. She figuring it out. You know, she might be a new artist as well. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. It's good. You know, she got the ink in there. You can't really judge too many people off of lettering because anybody can do lettering tattoos. I would personally move the placement a little further away from the other tattoos. I don't like when they're like that close touching, um, but that's just me. It's not the worst I've seen. I mean, I think she could have definitely used different line weights, I guess, to give it a little bit more dimension because it just looks very like flat and a little bit inconsistent. Oh, she cupcaking. Donna cupcaking. Oh, her lines are good. The cupcake tattoo, I would have done it differently. I probably would have used more like colors that are contrast versus like, I don't know, I feel like it's too many colors layered. And then when it heals, I feel like it might look dull. The color looks like a, a bad bruise. I totally get where she was going with that. Like I love the concept, but the color choices, over time it's gonna look like a blue purple blob. Like from far away, like you don't even know what that is. That's horrible. That is Horrible. That's a, a horrible tattoo. That's... wait, what? Uh... No, nah, I don't I don't think that was the one. Yikes. I think yikes. <laughs> I'm honestly not a fan of that tattoo. I don't know what she was going for, so maybe her client was happy. Sometimes the client tells you what they want beyond your advice, and you give it to them and they're happy, even if you're not, so... Who knows, I hope her client was happy. I totally get the concept, but the black just looks very inconsistent. It looks like she took a Sharpie and was just like, like. Let's take a look at Young Bay's work. Let's see what she got going. I'm not familiar with Young Bay. I saw the episode with Young Bay bringing her mom over from Korea, you know, and that just looked like a great time. I know I missed out. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Young Bay. Um, actually, this will be my first time seeing her work. She's dope. Young Bay, dope. I look decent. I think Young Bay is pretty fire. I think she's a good tattoo artist. That's, that's a real tattoo. I think the face tattoo with the flowers that Young Bay did is pretty good. It's really nice. The line work was good. I like the shading. It was pretty good to me. Sometimes you have to be more detailed than you actually see on the paper to make it pop. That tattoo is dope. She actually making that face pop out at me. I absolutely love that. It's definitely more of my speed. The line work was super clean. I loved the fact that it was very detailed, but she didn't add too much to it. Clear design, loved it. She seems like she knows her shit, honestly. I like what I've seen so far. I think it's pretty. I think that tattoo is dope. She got a little skill. Loved how clean the line work was, very consistent. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Her line work is crazy. I really like those style tattoos. I personally don't do too many of them because of how many lines it is, and you gotta make sure every single one of those lines is exactly the same. But it looks like she killed that I was surprised to actually see her. Cause it, like Black Ink, you don't normally see like good tattoo artists. It's kind of like more so personality than actual tattoos. So like that's a real tattoo artist right there. I'm down with Young Bay. We, we could be friends. Uh, I like her. We can do a tattoo convention where we could, we could share a booth. Go work, babe. Go work. Definitely familiar with Caesar. He cool, that's the homie. I know he owns the Black Ink franchise, right? He's a boss for sure. <laughs> I mean, if you know Black Ink, you got to know Caesar. He's the originator of this but his tattoos ain't good. They ain't never been good. I don't think they are gonna get good because I don't think he really care about being an artist. I think he know he's not a good tattoo artist. You feel me? It's not really a secret that he's not a good tattoo artist. I just feel like it's more so business for him. I feel like his, he has better work. I've seen better tattoos from C's. The placement was perfect. You know, the size, the ratio, everything was perfect for that half sleeve. He killed that. I mean, the, the letters is fine. Yeah, everything was fine on that tattoo. I don't think that tattoo was the best work I've seen him do. The back tattoo looked pretty clean, looked pretty solid. He's okay. 
he's okay. And it's probably because he's more focused on like being a business owner and not necessarily a tattoo artist. He's okay. My crew in Compton versus Black Ink New York. I honestly, like anybody on my team is already winning. Oh, Black Ink Crew Compton is gonna be the best. We have the best artists, hands down. I feel like we're just lit, honestly. <laughs> I'm the best artist out of all Black Ink, period. I know nobody can compete with me in any Black Ink crew. Like, I'm one of the best in the world. Black Ink Crew Compton is gonna take over, you guys. I'm not even sorry. Black Ink Crew is back. Make sure y'all subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you can keep up with me and the rest of the crew.